Today we're going to be doing a uh, stall speed test and uh, transmission pressure test on a 5R1110W uh, Super Duty automatic transmission. Uh, first thing you're going to need is a grease gun whip, 1 8 NPT fittings on both ends. This one here is 36 inches long. I uh, got it on eBay for about $10 shipped. Uh, these come in all different lengths. Uh, but you want uh, you want one that's decently long. I would recommend at least 36 inches so you can read it from the driver's seat. Uh, here I've got a standard AC manifold gauge. It is a uh, kind of combo 350 psi slash vacuum gauge. Uh, I got this one because it was cheap. You can also use an oil field gauge. Um, whatever you've got that will go up to uh, at least 350 psi. Um, I just used this because it was cheap and easy to get. And the last thing you need is a 1 8 inch uh, union or coupler. I recommend uh, the yellow Teflon tape for gas and oil. Uh, since it's pretty much just a one-time test, it's not a permanent thing. You could uh, get by with white Teflon tape or no tape at all. This end will go directly into the transmission test port. All right, this is the driver's side. Um, right on the side of the transmission, right above the pan level, will be the test port. Um, it is... A standard uh, 7 16th socket. Just going to loosen that up. It is a 1 8 inch NPT fitting. Okay. What I'm going to do is uh, Feed the hose up over the the swing arm and the drive shaft there. Get it ready to go. Take my plug out. Sorry about that. Getting this threaded with a long ass hose is kind of a pain in the ass. Alright, this doesn't need to be super tight either. You just need it to be able to hold for this test. And grease gun whips are rated generally at 4,000 PSI, so you're good to go there. They are also fuel and oil resistant. That's pretty good there. And you want the end there to be where you can see it. I do have the wheels chalked. I have four wheel drive on and uh, the hubs locked for the stall speed test. Uh, we don't want the truck trying to take off or burn rubber. 
Uh, we're testing the transmission and port converter. Uh, let me go ahead and start up the truck here. You do want your transmission to be uh, up to temperature. We're at 147 degrees there. You want your engine to be up to temperature also. Um, ideally, you'd want to be between 150 and 165 for the test. Uh, 146 is going to be okay for our test today. Um, you can see there we're right at 60 PSI. And that is uh, in park. I'm going to explain briefly how this works here. Um, basically this is uh, the specs out of the ATSG uh, transmission uh, service manual. Um, and to do the, the line pressure test, you're going to be testing the pressure um, in uh, the various gears. So park, neutral, reverse, drive, third, second, and first. Um, and the idle speed is a speed without throttle. Uh, the stall speed is the pressure um, at which your RPMs level out. So if it gets up to like 21 R 2100 RPMs, I should see a stall speed that's equivalent to the second line of the chart there. Yeah, I'll have a link to this, uh, this page here uh, in the description below. Alright, I'm going to set up the camera and we'll do the test. Alright, that is idle in park. This is reverse idle and we are right up around 100 there and we want to be right around 100. This is neutral Neutral should be 50, right around 60. This is drive. Drive should be uh, at least 70. We're up at 100. All right, this is third gear. We're at 85, and third gear we should be 80, so we're good there. Alright, this is second gear, right above 85, and we want 80 there as well. And finally, uh, first gear, and it's a uh, Basically, it doesn't change there. All right, now for the stall speed test. Uh, make sure you have uh, your wheel shocked, your your emergency brake fully engaged, and your foot on the brake while you're doing this. And uh, this is uh, kind of bad on your transmission and your torque converter and your whole drivetrain. So you don't want to hold down the throttle more than five seconds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift it into drive and I will slowly engage the throttle to the floor and when I get to the point where I see the RPMs uh, top out or level out that is where we will record the pressure okay so in drive we're looking for 320 psi We got way over 350, um, so we're actually over pressure there. Uh, that's not a big deal. We'll go ahead and try third gear. So 
we're just maxing out the gauge here. Let's go ahead and try second gear. Should be at least 215. Alright, so what we're seeing here is uh, our gauge is maxing out every time uh, we do the stall speed test. Um, I'm not sure if that's bad or not actually. Um, what's really bad is if it's low. If you're seeing low idle pressures and low stall speed pressures, that means either your pump is going out or uh, you have a clogged up filter or your PCA solenoid. The PCA is a pressure control solenoid that controls uh, pressure to the transmission. And in the newer models, like 2005 and up, uh, they took all the pressure switches out of the, the 5R1110W transmission. So you're, you could have low pressure and you wouldn't even know it. Uh, you'll start getting other codes when it gets really bad. Uh, in my situation, I actually had uh, my pump fail and I started getting a uh, direct drive solenoid failure code and a uh, uh, too long to engage code and uh, that was actually due to a failed pump, not due to a bad uh, direct drive solenoid. Um, so since they took the pressure switches out of the transmission, uh, you can't really diagnose them electronically. Um, I guess the story is that they weren't that reliable anyways, so they just took them out. Um, but as you can see here, my pressures are, are clearly way up uh, above the, the low point. Um, and it's uh, it's when they're running lower than this that you really need to be concerned. Uh, if they're running low, lower than this, I would check, make sure I'm running good fluid, make sure uh, my internal uh, filter is, is good and clean, and then I would go about uh, replacing my PCA solenoid. And uh, to do that, you have to actually remove the solenoid valve body from the transmission. You can do that with the transmission in the vehicle. Um, it's a pretty easy process. I do have a video on replacing that solenoid with the body out of the vehicle. I wasn't happy knowing I was going up over uh, 350 and not knowing exactly where I am. So I, I brought out my 5,000 PSI oil filled gauge, used this to test the high pressure oil pressure. Um, so right now we're in drive at idle and uh, you know it's not very accurate um, in the you know 1 to 200 psi range but we are showing like it's showing 250 the other gauge was showing about 100 um, so we'll see just how uh, how high it goes with the a, a stall speed test so I'm gonna put my foot on the brake and uh, slowly engage the throttle until we get up to our max rpm and we'll see what, what kind of pressure we get That's maxed out right there. So that doesn't really tell us a whole lot, uh, especially since it's still reading uh, 500 psi. Put it back in uh, neutral. Release the brake. So basically, this this gauge. And the zero to 500 uh, mark isn't that accurate, so it's not really telling us much. But at least I know it probably didn't get over 500 psi, so we're probably good there. Um, so any comments, go ahead and uh, leave them in the description there.